Welcome back to a Ah! <laughs> Gosh. Weird stuff happens. Oh, you yeah. You never know when weirdness is going to happen. <laughs> Take five. My ratatouille, Mr. Raton. Let's retry that again. Welcome back to another Seek One episode. This morning we've already seen a flying saucer and a UFO, aliens, and now we're on the river catching bass with gigantic rats. And Drew's fishing a giant bird on top water. Basically the gist of today's video, floating down the river, trying to get some topwater explosions. If we got to slow down later in the day, we will. Uh, but there's a lot of fish in here. And in all, serious, in all seriousness, why can I not say that word? In all seriousness, Drew and I were on the way to the river this morning at like five in the morning. It's like pitch black dark. And we called each other at the same time. We were like, are you seeing this? Even Thomas, our camera guy, saw it too. He pulled up the boat ramp this morning like, dude, did you see that? He was like, yes. Legitimately don't know what it was. Had to have been some sort of UFO, UFO. like literally a UFO. Or a rocket. Aliens. Or an, or an asteroid. Something One of three. crazy. But we can actually roll the clip so we're not lying. What in the heck is that? You okay, bro? <laughs> Dude, you missed it. I'm trying to do it as quietly as possible. How do I fall silent? Our buddy over here. Our buddy is the one that fishes out here a lot. He uh, turned us on to this place. Uh, it's, a, it's a river in Georgia, and he's been crushing them on these topwater baits. Like, really obscure, massive topwater baits. Uh, there's largemouth, shoal bass, spotted bass, and a few other types of bass that we're not going to mention swimming around in here. So. Some pretty, pretty big ones too. Um, alien bass. We've got about, what, a alien. mile? A mile. <laughs> alien bass. Right. <laughs> Leave the aliens out of it for now. <laughs> We've got about another mile to float. A bunch of shoals, uh, grass, all sorts of stuff. So let's get after it. We're uh, we're missing the top water bite right now. I know, so I want to keep coming up. this guy. Let's get it on. I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know that Uber was in the kayak business. <laughs> Got an Uber driver this morning taking us to her spot. <laughs> I'll give you a, I'll leave you a good review on Yelp. <laughs> Giganto rat is today's bait. Nummy nummy. I mean, come on. Yeah! <laughs> On the rat! Oh, that cast totally deserved a fish. <laughs> yeah, he was out. Large mouth. Yes! Dude's mission totally accomplished. All, right, All I wanted to do was catch one on this rat. That's a wrap. We can go home. Or that's a rat. That's a rat. Face full of freaking rat. You were not kidding about this thing. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. How'd he eat it? Uh, with his mouth. Uh, <laughs> First fish, breaking the ice. Committed to the rat. It's the theme of today's video. Commit to the rat. Large mouth, correct? Yep. See ya. But I don't know about it. Good start, good start. Yeah, we, we fish kayaks a lot. Really got the whole system dialed. There's no chance. Just because everybody always fishes down, nobody comes up. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, that he just crushed it. 
It's a long fish. Dude. Thomas, that thing. Dude. Is that on the bird? He annihilated that. Big spot. All right. I believe it now. Wow. I believe it now. I was skeptical hey, of this Drew? bird. What's the word? Thunderbird? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's a big spot. That thing killed it. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Yes, sir. <laughs> dude, that is a pig. There we go. Give me a favor. Nineteen and a half. Yep, solid dude. Or we can probably get twenty out of that. Yep, Just twenty. Twenty. Twenty incher to start the day on the parakeet. Oh, all right, buddy. Time to go home. Ooh. There's our rod. That's Uber XL right there. <laughs> I like weird. Wide open. Good. Yeah. Nicely done, bro. <laughs> Let her rip, Tater Chip. Let her eat. Who knew that Uber was so so on their game on the river this morning? That's cute, guys. It's only weird if you make it weird. <laughs> you want to hold hands? This is the original thigh mask. You want to hold hands every Come. time? Come! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! I'll take it on water. <laughs> All right, I got him, buddy, from here. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I want to fish this. That's oh, the main reason. All right, we'll call you if we need you again. We'll leave you a good review. Thank you, Mr. Uber driver. Um, I was just gonna fish All right, this. spot number two. I mean, this looks fishy right here. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna catch fish, but then you just sit there feeling like you oh, oh my god. It. Oh is he on there? Oh he's still on there. Uh, Dude. That thing exploded. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh. Man, he did we call it or what? He oh. barely had that bottom trouble hook. I'm like, surprised he stayed on that long. That was another good fish. Yeah. We had a spot another right? yeah, long a long spot. Golly. We're trying to get these blow ups on, on drone. Drone footage, like looking straight down. The drone's been up for the last 45 minutes, and we, about 30 seconds ago, we told them to put it down until we got to this next spot. Sure enough, that next cast, I got destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, he's on. Man, the second it hit the water, it's a smaller fish, but he crushed it. Is that a brown one? Yeah. yeah. Shoal. Heck yeah. Nice one. First shoal bass of the day. Pretty good one. First shoal bass ever? No, I've caught I've caught a few on other rivers here in Georgia, but first shoal bass on a parakeet lure. 
I can confidently say that. You can't do bridge right now, so. All right. Couldn't have predicted. Woo! Man, that water feels good. Have you guys watched the videos of them catching the bear among these on these things? Uh-uh. Oh. This is so cool. Oh, oh, that's good there fish. Is, yes. I was busy watching your cast. Let me try to spin us around so Tom can get you. Is that a largey? Yeah. I think so. He's barely hooked. Good. Barely hooked. I'm just going to boat flip him. Oh, nice. On the rat, baby. Yes, sir. Man, this rat. <laughs> Oh gosh, oh gosh. That's a nice one, dude. Thomas, yeah. That's a solid top that's one. That's a fat, large. Like we were saying, this rat isn't just like, we're not forcing this bite. We're getting bit on this rat way more than anything else today so far. Look how fat that fish is, though. Yeah, it's a healthy fish. You think there's a rat in his belly? <laughs> Oh, you got me pretty good. <sighs> These shoals are really shallow. And they were saying that usually there's just small fish in here for the next couple hundred yards. So I'm gonna throw this crawl for a little bit. Texas rig minnow scrub. Try to pick a few small ones off. Oh man, look at this grass patch up here these river bass love to hang out in that kind of stuff especially if there's deeper slack water nearby i'm thinking like on the back side of that little grass patch there should be a little pocket where they can hold up there's got to be a fish sitting right there I got one on. Yep. Got one? Yep. God dang these fish fight. You weren't kidding. Hey. Are you on you? I don't know. Come it. Huh? Dude, they get in that current and they can pull. Come here, boy. That's a what? Is that a tooth pack on the tongue? Uh-uh. No? Nothing. No. Let me see it again. That is a really cool fish. Is that, I mean, I don't know what that is. Man, when these fish get in that current, they can freaking pull. That is a really pretty fish. I don't know what fish this is. It looks like a spot, but it does not have a tooth patch on the tongue. That is pretty freaking cool. All right, I'm gonna let him go. There you go, buddy. See ya. 
came on a little creature bait. So what we did is we basically came around this side and pulled up, there's a massive eddy right in front of us and these rocks are breaking the current and threw up right behind one of the rocks, bumped it down and I'm fishing a super lightweight. So it's just kind of drifting along. That fish freaking crushed it. That was my first cast. There's gotta be some more here. I got another one. I got one. Dude, this is free. I've never caught bass this way. Staying in a river like this, this is crazy. All right, now this fish looks different too. So that's that might be a shoal bass. Is that two pack? Yeah. There is a two pack. That's a spoly spot. Spot. spot that, so this is a spoly. Yeah. Spot. Shoaly. Spot shoaly mix. Really? Wow. Man, the colors on these fish is crazy. They are so pretty. Looks like a turtle got a bite of them. I saw that fish come up over here and bust on something. I threw it over there and he just go doom. Dude, when they hit it, there is no mistake in it. <sighs> All right, I got it. So awesome. All right, fish. See you, bro. Dude, they are killing this little guy. I mean, it's literally like you bounce it off a rock, bounce it off a rock, bounce it off a rock, all of a sudden it's like, boom! And I saw that fish come up over here, threw right in and he ate it. I've never caught fish this way before standing in a river like this. This is freaking cool. Well, that was, <clears throat> that was pretty cool. Catch a couple of those fish in those eddies. <clears throat> the plan is to pick the kayaks back up drift on down a little bit pick the rat back up see if we can't some more get some more explosions on that guy I'm committed. I'm throwing this thing. It, it helps that you got bit like, you know, pretty Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if we get to another like little rapids area like that where you pull out the creature, I'll definitely do that. But no, I'm I'm going to throw this thing. Old Ratatouille. Bunch of shad way out ahead of that where I just casted. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that was a huge bowfin. I thought it was a bass at first. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was this freaking long. Huh? For a large mouth especially. Just like in the open out here? No way. Even I saw a buddy catch a- Yes! On the ratatouille, baby! Yes! I totally committed to this bait. <laughs> what is that? No, he came off. Dude, that looks like a, I'm, 
no, there's not smallmouth in here, but that totally looks like a smallmouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. All right, I'm going back. Did you get a look at it? Probably 18, something like that. Is that good? Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially on Foley, you know, when you consider like the, what I consider, and I don't think. Oh man, I was burning it. One just chased it right here. Sometimes cleaning it up helps. I mean, I mean, it wasn't a big one, but dang. Giant, giant, woo, surely. And there he goes, just like that. Oh, there's fish right there. Oh, oh no God. way. Called it. No way. It. Oh, there's awesome. two. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, it's this, another spot coming up with it. Oh, I thought he had it. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> Watch your tips. Oh boy, oh boy. Things are getting weird. Ah, come on, buddy. That was awesome. I didn't see this bigger one. I just saw like three little guys kind of playing around in this little eddy. And I pitched that in not expecting to get hit. That was awesome. On the bird. Ooh. Pretty much most of the day out here had I guess w which one were the bird the bird or the uh, the rat? I think the bird had four fish. Four fish. A couple, or three. A couple more blowups. Yeah. I think we landed. I only landed one on the rat. You landed one on the rat. Two good largemouth though. We had some other blowups. So plenty of action on the top water. Switched it up a little bit to worms and chatterbaits, things like that to get some more bites. But really cool experience. Even those, uh, I don't even know what they're called, the, those bass we caught in the like middle of those really tight streams uh, was really cool on those creature baits, but pretty awesome experience on a river here. I mean, you feel like, traditionally, like I've only, I thought that we were like trout fishing. I really didn't know you could be like flipping and pitching, throwing chatter baits and catching bass, and now our buddy's got one. He's got a stick fish. I don't think that's a stick uh -huh. fish. That looks like a big fish. What is it? Spot? Yeah. Spot? <laughs> and, uh, the, that's a and the biggest fish of the day. Shoaly. Are you oh kidding my me? Gosh. As we're close. <laughs> Dude, that's a freaking tank. Yeah, I'm still rolling. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
gosh. <laughs> That's a What'd you catch him on? Uh, trick worm weightless. Ultra top secret. <laughs> Do the... <laughs> Release him, uh, well, how's that for a closing? <laughs> um, last thing is, oh yeah, I guess uh, we got to talk about the aliens. We figured out what they were. It was uh, some rocket being shot into outer space carrying satellites from like somewhere, some a base camp in Florida, which is pretty cool. But um, two things, one, the limo jump, 500,000 by the end of 2020, launching the limo. Second thing that's probably more relevant uh, to most of you guys is we're doing this boat giveaway. We're giving away an express 16 foot bass boat slash duck hunting boat. That's going to come probably sometime in the fall, October, November is when we're going to give it away. But you got to sub to our channel. Uh, we got a video out that's kind of giving a little more details about how to enter to win. Um, so be sure to check out, stay tuned for that. More information coming. Literally, if you win, we're driving it to your house, handing you the keys. It's yours. No questions asked. Um, I think that's about it. What else we got? A long paddle back upstream. A very long paddle like upstream. Uh, Everett, thank you. Welcome, As you're guys. holding a freaking toad shoal bass. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let her go real quick. Do it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.